Today here at Robert's Guitar Dungeon, we're checking out the Real Echo Tape Echo Simulator from Dan Electro.
There is a category of pedals out there that are now discontinued and were fairly popular when they were current, but now that they're discontinued, the world is now discovering them and are all of a sudden becoming really popular and really hard to find. And those are, you know, pedals like the the Digitech Bad Monkey, the Line 6 Echo Park, stuff like that. And this pedal is actually one of those. These when the, these are no longer made. When they were, again, they were they were fairly popular, but a lot of People shied away from them because of their size and because there is no tap tempo feature on it. Now that they're discontinued, they're getting a little bit harder to find than they once were. Uh, the, the, and the values of these are starting to increase as well. I used to see these selling for between $50 and $80 used all the time. And now I see them selling for uh, 100 to 150 pretty consistently and on occasion even up in the, around the $200 range. It is an interesting delay pedal because it, you know, it's fairly simplistic in its design. Your typical three knob delay controls, uh, this one has a uh, mix, lo-fi, and repeats. I guess lo-fi is not typical, but uh, and then of course your, uh, your time control is the slider control right down here and it'll go all the way up to 1500 milliseconds or one and a half seconds in between repeats. Uh, it also has a solid state and a tube selector. Both of those actually sound pretty good and pretty accurate as well, as far as what kind of an amp you might, you may or may not be running it into. And the warble control is the modulation, and it's not a subtle modulation either, like a lot of delay pedals may have. When you turn, when you flip the switch, the on position, it's a, it's a pretty, pretty thick chorus to go along with the delay that you're using, and it sounds really, really good. You know, tape delays, I actually prefer to run into or before the preamp distortion, uh, which is how I was actually running this one, as opposed to running it through the effects loop after the distortion. Digital delays and uh, a lot of times analog delays sound awesome in the effects loop because digital delay especially is really, really clean sounding. And it, it just, it just, they just don't seem to want to cooperate real well and sound the way that they're supposed to when you run them into uh, into the gain stage. Uh, tape delays, on the other hand, do that very, very well, you know, because they're they're a much warmer type of delay and type of repeat, which is why Eddie Van Halen actually used an Echoplex into the front of his Marshall when he recorded their first album. And uh, particularly on Ain't Talking About Love, you can hear a slight little delay tone, and that's that Echoplex running into the front of it and how he achieved that effect. And Pete Thorne actually did a video on that uh, earlier this year on that specific concept, and I'll make sure and post a link to that to his video down in the description uh, so that you can get more details about that particular idea. So this pedal does quite a bit. I didn't want to spend a bunch of time and go through everything that it does. I did want to try it out, running it through the front end of, of a stereo setup. So this was actually running into the front of two amps, uh, as you will see in the signal chain section at the end of this video. But it's a really, really cool pedal. And you know, if you can get past the size and if you can get past the fact that there is no tap tempo control on it, it's certainly one to have and one to add to the collection. Um, you know, it's also even the sound on sound effect. I didn't demo this. The sound on sound effect is uh, kind of a really, really basic one and a half second looper, basically. If you think about how a looper may have operated back in the 1960s, that's kind of essentially the mindset that they had when they designed this. You know, I didn't really, uh, really find a use for it, at least for the purposes of this demo, but there is a whole demographic of guitar players out there that some people are referring to them as ambient players other people referring to them as shoegazers whatever you want to call them you know and those guys really really know how to manipulate effects like this and use them to do things that certainly that i wouldn't think to use them for and make them sound really really cool so you know i think that's part of the crowd of people that are going after this particular pedal and who are currently buying them up right now uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I upload new videos every Wednesday and Saturday morning. Any and all applicable links to all the gear used in this video will be listed down in the description. And please leave me a comment down below about what your favorite use of a tape delay might be. I'd love to hear it. And thank you so much for watching.
You know what? There are tons of young people out there that want to get involved in music and do not have the means to do so. If you are watching this video, most likely you're a musician and many experienced musicians have tons of broken and unwanted gear lying around that they're not doing anything with. Please visit my friends at Share the Music on Facebook at the link below and learn how you and your unwanted gear can help change somebody's life.